Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the latest video on the Scan Tool Network YouTube channel. In this video, as you probably guessed, we are looking at the Autel Maxicom MK808 kit and we're going to be looking at the top 21 things that you need to know before buying this tool. It's basically everything that you need to know about this product. Um, now, one thing to get out of the way first of all is that you can pick up the tool at um, the link directly below this video. So I'm going to put it in the description, I'm going to put a link to where you can pick up this tool. Uh, that will find you the cheapest price for this product at all times. So uh, let's get into it straight away. Uh, what is the product? Question number one, what is the product? The product is a multi-vehicle, multi-system, kind of professional level diagnostic scan tool package. So it'll allow you to diagnose all makes and models and diagnose all faults in all of these systems as well. Now where can you buy it? I've already covered that, just click the link below this video and it will take you directly to where you'll find it for the cheapest price. Uh, the prices are fluctuating from time to time so click the link and it'll take you to the cheapest option. How much is the tool? Well the tool as I say it does fluctuate but generally you're going to pay around about between 379 to 399 pounds. Like I say, depending on when you click the link, there might be offers on, so uh, between 379 and 399, it's generally 399 is the steady price of this product though. That's in pounds, by the way. So you're probably looking at about, I think it's about 400 and maybe 460, 470 dollars, US dollars. Um, how is the product powered? Well, we have the tool plugged into the diagnostic port of this vehicle here, but if we unplug this here, you will see that the tool actually stays on. That's because the tool has an internal battery which needs to be charged. Now, right now, it's at 40%. So when you're not using the tool, I would always recommend putting it on charge if you're using it every single day. Uh, a lot of tools, a lot of diagnostic tools do take the power from the diagnostic port of the vehicle but this one is a little bit different. Um, so there we go, that is plugged back in there now. And it just means this cable here is your link to the vehicle, it's not necessarily a power cable at all. So which manufacturers are covered with this tool? Well, we click on to diagnostics and we can get a full range of diagnostics. So on the top here, you can click on either all, you can click on American, that's USA, European, Asian, and China. So if we just keep it on all, or in fact, no, what we'll do is we'll click on the uh, the USA options. So it'll, get, it'll run through the USA vehicles or manufacturers. So you've got Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ford, and General Motors. If we go to European, Audi, Citroen, Fiat, Peugeot, BMW, Mercedes, Abarth, Alfa, Lancia, Maserati, Opel, that's Vauxhall, Saab, Vauxhall, Mini, VW, Bugatti, Bentley, Lamborghini, LT3, Seat, Skoda, VW, Commercial Vehicles, Mercedes-Benz, Maybach, Smart, Renault, Dacia, Ford, Land Rover, Jaguar, Volvo and Porsche. In the Asian sector, we've got Honda, Nissan, Acura, Daewoo, Daihatsu, Hyundai, Kia, Sangyong, Suzuki, Maruti Suzuki, Peruda, Proton, Tata, Samsung, Mahindra, Subaru, Isuzu, Infiniti, Nissan GDR, Toyota, Lexus, Sion, Mitsubishi, and Mazda. And in the Chinese, well, I'll let you work those out for yourself. Um, not many people are going to be buying this tool to work on Chinese vehicles, but you can go back to all and it gives you a quick list of all of the manufacturers. So what systems are covered with this tool? Well, it's generally classed as an all system, manu uh, all system kit, but it all depends on the vehicle that you're gonna actually diagnose. So let me use this as an example. We are in a Porsche right now. So I'm gonna, oh, European, I'm gonna find the Porsche option. And we're going to go through and have a look at the systems that are actually covered and the systems that it will allow us to diagnose. So hopefully this won't take too long here. So we can just click on automatic selection, just read the VIN number. It's going to automatically find the vehicle. So we don't need to select it manually. It's a 2013 Porsche Cayenne. So click on control unit. And as you can see, we've got a list of different systems that will allow us to diagnose here. So we've got three, pretty much four pages. Each dot here is uh, represents a page, so you can go back and forward. So we've got four pages here 
of systems we can diagnose on this vehicle. Now, as an example of how that differs from vehicle to vehicle, we could then go into, um, I don't know, Audi, for example. And it'll be interesting to see how many pages this has. So we can just, instead of choosing the vehicle on this option, we can just choose the system. So we'll control unit and look at how many pages here we've got of different systems. You know, obviously it's always going to cover the main systems like the engines, the airbags, the ABS, transmission, power steering, park and sensors, air conditioning, suspension height, um, the, the air conditioning, central electronics, you name it. It's going to cover pretty much everything that it can. So it covers all systems that are actually installed into that vehicle is the short answer to that. What about the special functions? Well, we can go to the special functions as well, or service functions as they're also known. So if we click on to service, now this all really depends on the specific vehicle. So all of the options here won't cover every single vehicle. Uh, they cover kind of most of the vehicles, I'd say probably about 90%. So we've got oil service reset, DPF, uh, sorry, electronic park and brake, TPMS, battery registration, brake bleeding, DPF, immobilizer, injector coding, steering angle sensor calibration, suspension calibration, throttle calibration, windows, doors and roofs, seats. Oh, Domina, don't worry about that one because it's, it allows you to change the mileage but only, only a, a very, very few vehicles. So don't, don't buy this tool relying on that. Uh, language change, headlamp, change tires, TEC learn, ABS SRS, cylinders, VGT learn, clutch, transmission adaption, airbag reset, and AF setting. So those are the special functions, the service functions, as they're also known as. So what fault code and what information does it give when you get a fault code? Well, if we click on to diagnostics, we'll go to our Porsche, because we've set up an airbag light right here, and this will really show you the information that you are likely to get when you come across a fault. So we can just go to, so we're going to select our vehicle in this case. So we need to find the airbag. Communicating with the vehicle. Okay, trouble codes. It was B100B1B. This is a manufacturer specific fault code, and this is what it will do all the time. It will always give manufacturer specific fault codes, and um, it'll give us information to say side airbag on driver side resistance above limit. But well, we just simply unclick the connector and put it back in. So, what we can do is we can clear this now, just as an example of how it works. Um, do you want to continue? We'll click yes. When we click yes, keep an eye on the airbag light. There we go, that's gone off straight away there. And we should get a confirmation message on screen. There we go. Oh, it's telling us the selected function is not supported. Well, obviously it is because we've cleared the fault code. Uh, don't know why it's doing that. Maybe I've selected the wrong option, but it definitely does it and it should give you a confirmation to say that it does actually work. Uh, so it has uh, confirmed the, uh, the, the code delete and the, uh, the warning light delete. Okay, so is it touchscreen is a question that we always get. Yes, it is touchscreen. You'll notice it doesn't have any buttons around here, so that answers that question pretty quickly. Everything on screen is touchscreen. How to update it, you do need an internet connection, but you just simply click on update, and what it'll do is it'll give you a list of all of the updates. Now, we aren't connected to the internet right now, so it's not gonna give us anything, but you can either select the updates in which you wish to update, or you can just, there's an option up here which will allow you to just download everything, and it updates everything on the tool. So, that's a very easy update process. Some of the other tools, like the iCarsoft tools, you need to plug them into a computer, download software, etc. This just makes it so much easier. And how much are the updates? The updates for this tool right now, for the first year you get uh, free updates, so you don't pay anything for the first year. After that, there is an update cost, and it's it's around about 130 pounds per year after that. You don't, you know, under no obligation to go through the updates. You can maybe skip a year, then after that, get another year's worth of updates for 130 pounds. 
Um, how does it compare to the MK808BT? Well, the simple answer is it's this tool is needing a wire to connect. The BT version requires um, no wires at all. It just requires a dongle under, in the diagnostic port and it connects via Bluetooth. So I'll put the link to the Bluetooth kit in the description below this video as well. It all really depends on what's best for yourself. I always prefer a wired connection. Um, where can you get help and support? Well, you can get help and support on this just by clicking the support option. It takes you through to the um, Autel management, if you like, or the, the Autel tech team, and they will help you with any problems that you may have with this. Uh, again, you do need an internet connection for that. Um, can it print faults? Yes, it can. The good thing about this is well, not only does it print faults, but it turns it into a PDF file as well. So if we click on to diagnostics, uh, we can go to I'll just escape out of all of this. So you can go to the history of the faults. Um, let's see now. find one where we've had a fault, a DTC fault. So we had a fault with the uh, the front ABS sensor in this car and uh, what we did is if you click this button here view PDF so you can either use it for your own records or you can give it to the customer it creates a mini PDF file if you like it gives the vehicle information you can put technician notes in and from here there is an option to print, you can print somewhere or maybe you have to go back and oh here it is yeah yeah print so you print the option there and it prints the PDF off it's a really good little uh, system that it has for doing that so it does print uh, languages you can change languages on the tool you can see here all of the languages that it does support uh, the box within box does come with instructions comes with a really sturdy box uh, with instructions and obviously all of the cables you need and uh, the connections that you need but generally you'll only really need this uh, 16 pin diagnostic package is it easy to use very easy to use you've seen the way I've been toggling through all of the menus here while I've been talking and it's very simple to just get exactly where you need to be you know via all of the, uh, the easy well laid out buttons and I would say yes it's very very easy to use would I recommend the tool with somebody who has little or no experience absolutely yes again it doesn't necessarily mean that just because it's a tablet based doesn't mean it's a professional use it is for professionals but it can also be used by amateurs and DIYers because it is so simple to use uh, you get a lot of functionality from the tool um, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's, it's hard to use it's very easy to use in fact uh, what about the other menu icons? Well, you've got the update as I say, you've got shop manager so you can add different people to use the tool and it'll show you what they've diagnosed um, and it just keeps a basic log of every, every vehicle and every fault that's been uh, diagnosed. Um, update, we covered that, service covered that, diagnostics covered that, data manager, uh, well it allows you to view things in PDF or, or the images. Um, you review all of the data etc so there's a few extra screens on there you probably wouldn't need that one too much uh, does it double up as a tablet well yes it does so if we click on to I think it's the home button you can see here it's an Android tablet so you can add apps on or you know you could be diagnosing cars through the day in the garage and you could your kids could be playing on it at, at a night time you know watching their favorite YouTube videos or, or whatever. Um, how fast is delivery? Delivery on this is generally one to two working days. It's super quick delivery. Um, and as I say, I'd highly, highly recommend it to anybody who's interested in this kit. But as I say, I am gonna put the links to this kit in the description below this video. It's a really, really impressive, fantastic, powerful diagnostic package for anybody who's working on their own cars, anyone who's an enthusiast, um, maybe small garages, mobile mechanics, small workshops, or anyone just who just wants to look after their own family fleet of cars. Uh, like I say, I'll put the link in the description below the video. I hope this has helped you in any way. Um, I, I, it's designed to help people make a decision as to whether this is a good tool for their needs or not. And I would say if you're thinking about this tool, 
honestly, you won't be disappointed. It's a fantastic package, and I personally recommend it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.